all right guys so we are here finally at the one and only grand central madison station so where we are right now is the concourse level here and what we're going to do for this specific tour is we're going to make sure that we don't confuse you guys as much as possible what we will do is we will break down the mezzanine part the concourse part and the platform note that those are not in order so we already went on the escalators there is about three to four of them here but we went on two from what i believe right two and with here today, with the ambassador of Real Fatty 9, except he's going to be the cameraman, we will make sure that in the final segment, we do get his take on this station. Up next would be your info segment, and then after that will be your one and only Grand Central Madison station tour. All right, guys, so we're going to begin now the station tour of Grand Central Madison. As you can see right now, here's where you would enter to Grand Central Madison. Here you have uh, two escalators, one going down, one going up. So do you want to go down the escalator or do you want to walk downstairs? Uh, we'll go down the escalator. Down the escalator. So let's go down. And as you can see, there we have a couple of signs. Madison Concourse, Long Island Railroad. So that should give you an indication already that once we are down, we will be in Long Island Railroad territory. So here, right away, you could see that this is a revolution. This is completely a new dimension in terms of uh, stations because this is actually uh, the first time that we do a station tour at a new station uh, using the newly designed features uh, for this channel. So here you could see that this is uh, the entrance to the concourse. So here you got the logo of the MTA, Long Island Railroad. Right there, it says uh, to Madison Concourse, all Long Island Railroad tracks, shops and dining. And it also says the same here. All right, so we are now entering officially Grand Central Madison, Long Island Railroad territory. So there is first set of doors and here is the other set. And now as we open. Here, so it's a good accessibility feature. Um, so this reads not an exit. In the grill. This is the entrance to what is now the concourse. So right away, here you have display screens. There is showing you a grand connection. This is Grand Central Madison. So for those that want to hydrate real quickly, there you already have two water fountains in which you could use. Now as we turn around, here it gives you the status of all the train stations because this is practically it. It actually is going specifically through alphabetical order. That's how it looks. And now what we want to do is let's continue on and show you the beginning of what is the concourse if you see that the stores look like this where it has some sort of i guess you could say an image on the doors that means that it is currently in progress and that they will more than likely open within the next upcoming months so let's walk on and let's continue so let's go this way here you're going to see a lot of artwork not just that you also have the screens here showing you not just advertisements, but you did see for a split second some artwork going on. Yayoi Kusama. It says directly from my heart onto the universe. So there you can see the example of the artwork. In fact, you actually do see it in Concours, which we are at right now. So let's continue on. There you see uh, ticketing and customer services. Long Island Railroad tracks 201 through 204 and 301 and 304. Where we're going to be entering now is 
the portion of the concourse where you're going to see the restrooms. Here, you don't get anything much. Here you do have some artwork laid down in the wall. There you see it. So let's continue walking. Here you have a screen indicating you the same thing, showing you uh, the current status of the station. What do you think this is here? Uh, so I think it's like a mural uh, defining what the station is mm. as well as the city. I guess this also could be like a waiting area here. More escalators soon to come. So there you see an interesting sign. So Grand Central Madison escalators coming here soon. Keep lots of access uh, Metro North and Subway, which is where we just came from. So now officially we have entered the actual concourse. And one thing to note already is uh, the importance of knowing where the restrooms are. So we are heading there and they are actually going to be on the right hand side. So let's walk to it. One thing I definitely want to do is I want to make sure that we don't stay forever in this portion because again you have that whole thing of people looking at you so let's continue on all right but you do see that here uh in this portion of the concourse and throughout here it is actually really wide so look at that you have a uh, beautiful lighting and you're going to see that we are going to be entering through lots of entrances to uh, escalators all right so here we have uh, an example of one of the display screens uh, showing you wicked I'm not sure what that is. Is that a movie or something? I think it's a musical. Oh, it's a musical. Okay. All right. So here we show you uh, the restrooms when you enter the concourse here. So right there, uh, that's the women's section. And then right there, that is the men's section. So let's lead on. Let's keep on going. So what we're about to see is uh, the first of many escalator entrances. So in fact, in this uh, first screen that you see on the wall, it shows you the service on Grand Central Madison. So you want to zoom in on that? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, there it says the current time, 537. Uh, the next departing train is going to be 620 to Jamaica. So it's considered peak, in fact. After that is the 717 to Jamaica, and that is still considered peak. And now you do see that once you enter the 8 o'clock portion, it is going to be off peak. The first escalator. There you can see it. It's on uh, the right-hand side. Uh, one thing that the ambassador mentioned here is during the entrance of the escalator, you do see where you're specifically located. And so here it says uh, 45th Street. There you see it. Uh, Madison Concourse. Restrooms located on concourse level only. And there, here you see the emblem of the state of New York. So one thing that we definitely want to show you is the ticket machines, which is on this side. So let's go there. And we're going to access the ticket machines. Here it gives you an indication of where you'll go if you continue walking through here. So there it says 43rd and 42nd Streets, elevators to 42nd Street, 44th Main Concourse, Metro North Subway. And of course, if you continue walking through here, it will be your ticket machines. You do notice that new smell that you get when you go to a new station. Right here, you're definitely seeing that. You have uh, three new ticket machines. Uh, these two are the classic TVNs. And then the last one that you see there in the blue, that one only accepts credit and debit cards only, as you see in the sign here. But besides that, we would assume right now that these are 100%, that the uh, LED is working fine, that you see the signs going on, and that every functionality of these TVMs should be looking good. So one thing that we want to do right now is we want to see how much a ticket would be from here, Grand Central Madison, to Atlantic Terminal Brooklyn. So let's see what that price would be off peak. So there you see it is going to be actually $8.75. So that will be your price. Uh, is there one that you want to do here? Uh, Which uh, destination that you want to do real quick? Grand Central Madison to where? Uh, let's try Hicksville. You want to do Hicksville. All right. So let's see how much it would be to Hicksville off peak one person. So it will be $10.25. The one thing that I could say right now is the reason why it is higher is because you would go up a couple of fare zones from what I assume. So there you go. That is it. This is the first of many escalators. If you zoom in, Caraman, interim Caraman, <laughs> Rail 99, there you see. Uh, can you zoom in where, you set, where it says to tracks 201, 204? Uh, there yeah. you're going to notice that to tracks 201, 204, and 301, 304, and it also says the same there. So in fact, here, where I'm standing at, <laughs> what's going on? Oh, no, no, I'm trying to get the camera. All right. So as you can see here, 
Here's where General Lieber was interviewed on Newsday. I remember exactly because he was actually facing that that you see there, where you have the nice and fancy MTA and, of course, the Long Island Railroad sign. So let's continue on. All right. So from here, I could say right now, let's do a walkthrough. I don't think we have to speak that much here. So what you definitely just want to show is just that, just the concourse itself. Because uh, this doesn't really have that much to offer. And if we do turn around, it will tell us where it would be from this point. So this portion, it says to main concourse, Metro North and Subway. And now as we continue on, you're going to see that not only are we going to be entering uh, the second escalator, second section of the escalators, but we will be also seeing the customer service hub and the waiting area, which we will look at within a couple of seconds from now. But it looks solid. I'll have to say this here is more than likely going to be like a small hub or more likely you're going to be selling like chocolates or whatever the case may be. So for any viewer before getting the train, you want to get like a snack. So once this opens up, then here is a good option to get that stuff. All right. Here we have another screen showing you uh, the next set of trains coming in. We don't have to show that no more. Okay. So as we stop here, where I'm pointing at, there is where we want to show most importantly, because there is where you have the customer section. Here you see that we are now in a different block. The one down there was 45th Street, right? Uh, yeah. Over here, it says 46th Street, Madison Concourse, and then, of course, restrooms located on the concourse level. And then, in fact, here you see it looks like a pit stop uh, to get your food. So there it says uh, bakery, coffee, and bagels. So there you have it. And that says Zaro's, right? Uh, yep. Really good. I really like that. It tastes really, really good, uh, the stuff that you're going to get from there. So here we have ticketing and customer service, restrooms, elevators, to LIRR tracks. Do you know what you want to do? Let's go through here. We will actually show you this. And actually, look, remember that screen that we showed the artwork? It actually is right here. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's now move on uh, to this section. Here you go. This is considered to be uh, the customer service section and the ticketing slash the waiting area and as well as the police portion. And you have restrooms too. So let's go one by one so that the viewers don't get lost. So over here, you have the police department. God forbid something happens if any of your belongings get stolen or you lose it or whatever. And if you need some sort of assistance, here is where you would want to go in the concourse. So once again, where it says police, there is where you definitely want to go if you either have concerns or if you lost any sort of belongings or if you were caught in the act with a potential harassment situation. Who knows what the case would be there. Okay, all right. So here is your customer service hub, as you see. Where we are standing right now, this is or would be a good location to go if for any chance you have a question or concerns. Let's just say for someone like me, which I did mention to you earlier, uh, if I want to know what train to take to go to Atlantic Terminal, if I have any doubts or concerns, here would be the perfect place to do it. Because actually and now you do have about like four, four, to, six, four to six reps in there to right. answer any questions. Yep. So there you have it. All right, what's interesting here is not just that, the restrooms. Of course, women, men there, and then your little mini water fountain. Oh, yeah. You could reach that, right? <laughs> <laughs> what I find interesting is this. Right here, it indicates here that there will be a future ticket machine. So you have one, two, three future ticket machines that will be implemented in this portion of the station. Here, actually, in fact, is one at the moment. You do see that you have green artwork. What's going on with that? Any green? idea what's going on with the green, lime green, and then the dark green? Something makes me wonder, perhaps this is where you can get like a universal ticket, hopefully. Let's find out. Oh, you are actually right, because universal in a way would probably be like AirTrain and JFK, so look. Because I did see it in the front. It said Long Island Railroad and then AirTrain JFK. So the way we could do that, I would probably say is all other tickets. That doesn't apply, it looks like. Uh, away deals. No, that's Long Island deals. But I did see it. I did see it. So I guess mm -hmm. somehow, some way, you could actually get the air train through yeah. here. Who knows what the case may be. All right, so let's continue on. Let's walk through here. So the one thing to note is um, when you're in this section, you're going to see a lot of screens. And what these screens are is telling you 
uh, the status of literally every single station because it goes A to Z practically, right? All right. So as we move on, as we move on, uh, this is where you have the waiting area. So let's say, for example, you came to Grand Central Madison and you had a long day, just want to take a seat. Here will be the perfect place to have it because, like I said, this is where uh, the waiting room is. So let's move on and continue. So in terms of signage, here you have customer service ticketing right there. So this is really important, especially for those that come here for the first time. You have no idea what's going on. Like I said, the most important thing for you to do is to pay attention to the signage. So let's get it going. So you will see that you have a long, a long, long, at this point, you'll probably say like it's a mural, right? Yeah. Full of artwork. And like I said, those screens that or we collage. saw in the beginning, I collage? Mean, yeah, collage, collage. Or a montage, I'm not yeah. sure. Any one could be the perfect way to describe this, is where you have the artwork. And that first one where you have like the orange background is the one that we saw on the screens. Let's continue on. Okay, so I think now that's entering our, the third, the third escalator entrance. Uh, yes, yeah. All right, so let's go on. And in fact, this is something that uh, the ambassador picked up on is, so once we got here, the ambassador was like, whoa, you got to see the whole map of the Long Island Railroad. And you do see that it had, it had to take about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you would need eight screens to cover the entire map. So mind you, we were here. Remember that? A couple oh, years yeah, back? Sure. What was it, 2018, 17? Uh, yep, the road to Montauk. I think, I think it was 2018. It was 2018, yeah, 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 uh, where the ambassador of the Montauk branches, right over here, Hampton Bays, that is the station. Um, in terms of the Port Washington branch for our ambassador, even though there are people there, let's just quickly point to it. There you go. Murray Hill is the station right there. And then, of course, for you and I, it'll more than likely be Atlantic Terminal Brooklyn, which on the map. Well, for me now, <laughs> for now me. Uh, mm -hmm. where's Atlantic Terminal Brooklyn? Atlantic oh, right Terminal. here, right here. Yeah. So there you go. Atlantic Terminal Brooklyn for me, and then for uh, Mr. Relfan A9, it will probably be this. Or, or Grand Central. Station or Grand Central. All right, so let's get it going. How many, how much time is it on the video uh, right now? 18. 18, all right, we're almost there. Okay, so in terms of exiting, oh, in fact, we did miss this. We missed this part. So we miss an important part, and that is accessibility. And when you read the sign is there, it says elevator to all Long Island Railroad tracks. So for the disabled or for those that, like I said, had a very long day and don't want to go through stairs or whatever, or even escalators if it gets to that point, there you have uh, elevators. It's actually right here. You see it, uh, Ambassador? Yep, all the way there. Right there. So there you have your elevators. So in this part, here you have a mix. On the left, you got the staircase, and then on the right-hand side, there you have uh, actually entrance to the Metro North. Because if you go up either that escalator or that staircase, it will lead you to Metro North tracks 11 and 42. So look at that, Lexington and Park Avenue. So let's get it going. Let's go through here. Let's go through here. Now, one thing that I found interesting about the coloring of every single decoration for the escalators, right? You do see that the emblem or the coat of arms is now purple. You see that, right? Yep. It's sort of like a lavender-ish kind of a color. So you do see that there. And actually, we are now in 47th Street. So now we're in 47th Street. Here where you see this last portion of the concourse, here's where we actually recorded the intro segment. That should give you a good indication that we made some good progress so far, right? Oh, yeah. All right. And oh, so you're, so I was actually wrong. You and you were actually right. Oh, There's more, actually more. more uh, ticket machines and one thing to note too is on the side of the ticket machines in this portion of the concourse you're going to see elevators to 47th street and madison avenue yep here next to uh the ticket machines here you have three screens bunched into one and like i said it's going to be the same thing over and over again so the current time 549 the last time that i checked it was 537 right uh yes so here, once again, it's the same design in terms of the way they place these ticket machines. The first two are classic TBMs, and, and the last one is for the fancy people like us in the future who will only say, oh, no, uh, no cash. We only do credit and debit cards. <laughs> and who knows? We're probably going to go to that point where we're going to say, no, everything that we pay for is going to be credit card, right? Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> All right. So a round trip. Let's just 
do this again, but we're doing round trip this time. So a round trip uh, from Grand Central Anderson to Atlantic Terminal via Jamaica. It'll be 1750. Oh, did you want to catch that? Oh, no, no. I was just going in, but no, you got it. All right. So there you go. So like I said, this is the third to fourth section of the escalators. Where we're about to enter is practically the last portion of the concourse. So let's go. And actually, before we go, here is a good way to hydrate. So there you have a couple of water fountains. If you zoom in. Zoom in. There you go. Very good. All right. So let's continue on. You're a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, over here. Okay, so this would be a future sort of like a market, I would say. Like those fancy looking delis. If you have like a custom logo in a market like this where you have like drinks and all that, just expect it to be very expensive. And of course, on the side, you have the water fountains. Like I said, the reason why I'm emphasizing the water fountains a lot is hydration matters. It really matters. And the fact that at the station you have a lot of water fountains, that is really good news. All right, so one thing to note in this section of the concourse is you have a lot of people that are amazed <laughs> with the screens here. Because you notice you got one, two, three mega screens showing you animation. So what do you make of that? Uh, I would say, well, right now, uh, screens are like in HD, maybe even 4K. Uh, no, maybe I wouldn't be surprised if it's 4K. Of, maybe lots of advertising. Yeah, the advertising I wouldn't be surprised. And, and the one thing to note is where we are right now, we have a really nice ceiling. You see it, right? You have lights going on. I really like how it looks. Once you reach the last point is where it says 48th Street. So you mind zooming in where, you, where it says 48th Street? So where it says 48th Street. And actually, in fact, where you have the entrance of the escalator, there is, in fact, where we're about to go in now. So let's go. Let's make sure that we don't waste that much more time here. This is now four out of four. Yes, we made it. It was a long stretch, but we did make it. What you're going to see around here, you're going to have a bunch of exits around. And actually, you also have an elevator there too and a screen. And you know what's crazy? It's literally the same thing that we see in all the screens, and that is the stations and the current status of that station. Now, the one thing to note is the location that this uh, last escalator section is. And that actually, in fact, is 48th Street. Madison Concourse. So with that, now let's go on the escalator. You want to go on this one? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, let's go on this one. All right, so we are now in the mezzanine section. One thing to note is the signage, once again, Madison Concourse, 48th Street, Metro North, and Subway. Why you're wondering 48th Street is because there's where we are right now. And actually, in fact, before we went on the escalator here, you did see that 48th Street was labeled on that uh, signage. So the one thing to note is this beautiful design that you see here. This actually, in fact, is one of my favorite colors. It's oh, yeah, sort of like a turquoise kind of a color. If you go up, there you see a really, really nice view. This portion, I would definitely con consider it as a decoration. Now, the one thing to note is if you continue walking down there, it's going to be tracks 203, 204, and then 303 and 304. Here you can see that you have uh, totems where it's labeled track 201 here and then track 202 on the other side. The one thing that you do see is that as we go through here, uh, that it says no train currently boarding on this track. So what that means is down there, it's going to be completely empty. So that's one thing that you guys should expect. And there you have a display screen. So let's get it going. Let's go on. So this is the mezzanine once again. Like I said, it looks magnificent. Really nice. We are impressed. And um, actually, one thing that we must show is that. So here, where it says tracks 201 and 202, the way to get there is by going up either that staircase or the escalator, which is working. <laughs> Here it says, 
elevators to tracks 201, 202, and 301, 302, Madison Concourse, and then Subway and Street. All right. So in terms of what is here, here you have some artwork going on. There it says, um, hear it for New York. I'm not sure what that is. There it gives you a display screen saying, uh, welcome to Grand Central Madison. There you have it. Now, if you were to go down this escalator, you'll be entering track 301. Uh, this here, I think, so is this an elevator? I believe so. I want to say this might be a freight elevator. I think like it might be a freight. Objects. Yeah. So there you have it. So it gives us a better indication of what it is. And now by reading this sign here, it says 47th to 45th streets. So let's walk down. And what you want to do is just show the camera this way. Here is another entrance and another way to get to tracks 201 and 202. There you see it. Once again, the combo of staircase and escalator. Now, the one thing that you're going to see in terms of <laughs> differentiating entrances is that uh, the color of the other portion was turquoise, right? This one is lavender. Here you can see it. What is that? You think that's like a lavender type of a color? Yeah, I would say this is lavender. Mm -hmm. All right. And, there, and here you have what is uh, the second of four escalators. Looking at it from this point of view, all right? Let's keep it going. All right. That's most of the same. We're not going to repeat that. So from here, we're going to go like back in the days, remember? Where we always used to show just me walking down. Now, the only difference is uh, this is actual. This is an actual elevator for passengers to use. And of course, the way to go about it is by pressing this button. By pressing that button. And look at the sign, So you're um, at back. It's like a medical what? hospital. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Here you have the other set. Escalator and staircase. Here is where they will place a future ticket vending machine. One thing to note. Right here you have a passageway which will lead you to that elevator there and not just that to Madison Concourse, Metro North Subway and Stream. Oh, before you go, I just noticed something. Look, 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 look. Another feature here. Oh, I see it. I see it. Is it what I think it is? Yeah. This? Okay, so you have a really good eye. And that is on this portion of the mezzanine, here you have a charging station. So for example, for iPhone users that have the cables, you would connect it through here. And of course, I guess for MacBooks or whatever the case may be, this, these are the USB slots. The, I'm sorry, the USB-C slots to connect the cable or charger so that you could charge your device. But be careful you don't short uh, your MacBook because who knows how much uh, electricity is coming through there. We would assume that it's the full 120, right? All right. So once again, like we said, that is an accessible elevator uh, to go on. Now let's go down. Here is most of the same, like I said. What is this, the third time that we yeah, answered through here? <laughs> but um, it's always worth showing. So this is the current time, 6.03 p.m. There you see it. That has to be. LCD or LED? Uh, LED? LED. There you go. All right. Here we're going to see, uh, let's see, one, two, three. So here we have five screens merged onto one. On the first, on the left-hand side, it shows you uh, the next set of trains coming in, and one will be coming into 304, which, in fact, you would have to walk that way to get to that train. And here we have the rest of the screens indicating you uh, Indications, of course, status of the station. Here we have Grand Central Madison, and I think this is the map. This is the map. Look, we have concourse, and then I assume this is the escalator, and then where we are right now is this mezzanine, and then eventually you will lead yourself to the tracks. Now, look, you know what's interesting? Look, now that's light blue, right? That has to be blue, right? Yeah, that's blue. Kind of like a sky blue color. So we did see in the first one that, that had to be what? Turquoise, right? Uh, the yeah. second was so lavender, lavender, and then no, this yeah. one was light blue. So look, <laughs> and we could easily confirm that by looking up top. See that, right? Yeah. Really good. Now, one thing is this. When you saw on, the, on one of the display screens where it says track 304 is the next train, you actually, in fact, would have to walk down here, and you see where it says 303 and 304? You would have to walk that way in order to access that. 
So let's get it going. I know we have what? One more to go? I think it's uh, just yeah, one more go. to go. All right. Here, what you're going to see on this side, once again, display screens. That's literally the same one that we just saw. Uh, and look, in fact, here is another of those charging stations right over here. So look, you're going to have four ports of USB-A, right? USB-A ports. Uh, yeah. And then over here, you're going to have four USB-C ports. Like I said, if by any chance you left your power bank, but you have your cable, and let's say, for example, you have to charge your phone, you would go. You would have to go to this side so that you can access uh, the charging station. Now, here is your other elevator. Really, really good. And there it says tracks 201 and 202 if you go up. And then tracks 301 and, two, and 302 if you go down. So I think I was underestimating this. Because if you press this button, it will make you go up to tracks 201 and 202. So that's just something that we should definitely keep in mind. Same thing again. Look. <laughs> track 201, track 202. Like I said. So again, the demo would be if you walk up there. Or you walk up there through. I'm sorry. If you go on the escalator here or if you walk up the staircase through here like i said you will access tracks 201 and 202 yep. here you have uh, more of the same <laughs> and here the only difference is that not only does the color change here but you also have some artwork looking ahead you see that right uh, yeah. so you want to zoom in real quick just real quick zoom in yep. really nice artwork right and so once again if I were to walk down, and let's say my train is on 203, I would have to go down, make a left, and then, of course, it should be the usual. From here, we will show you now the platform, but before we get to that, we're going to do the elevator test. And as you can see, the elevator is now opened, and this is how it looks. Look how, long, how, how wide it is. So the one thing that we want to do now is we want to press this button. The reason why is so that we could go downstairs and show you guys tracks 301 and 302. So look how spacious this elevator is. Really, really nice. It could definitely fit a lot of people. I can tell you that right now. And looking at the display, here you can see the L meaning we are lower level. Here it says tracks 201 and 202. If you take the elevator going up and pressing the 201 and 202 option, of course, via the mezzanine, and then there it says tracks 203 and 204, and then of course, Madison Concourse and the street, if you continue going up. So from here, it will be the last segment, which will be showing you guys the platform of GCM. We're about to show you guys uh, one of the tracks. So what we're gonna go down now is towards track 301 and track 302. As you can see the time, 6, 11 p.m. So let's get down there. All right, so here is how the escalator looks. We are heading down through here because we're lazy. We don't want to walk down the stairs, even though we use the stairs to walk up because there was actually no way for us to take this escalator because we would do, we would, might have, we would more likely end ourselves back to where we were taking it. Okay, so look at that. This is it, guys. This is the platform of many. So where we are right now, like I said, this is 301, track 301. Over here is track 302. Once again, signage, very important. Specifically, we are on area A. And if you go from here, it's going to be Madison Concourse Street, Metro North Subway. You guys get the point, right? So let's go on. So the one thing to note right now is um, if a train is in service, you are going to see that in this destination display, it will show you what train is going to not only stop here but where it's going to be headed to so first things first typically in the station tour the one thing that we definitely like to look at is amenities right even though receptacle bins are not amenities but here is an example of it this is how it looks this actually in fact is one of the columns that you see in the station and you do see that the coloring once oh, again really nice it looks really good now one thing to note this is actually an important sign where it says front of train would be actually in that direction and elevators would actually be in that direction too so here once again this is track 302 part of area a and then as we
cross over to the other side. This actually right here is track 301, but still within the same area, area letter A. And here there it says area of refuge. So here you could see this is the destination display and this location showing you the current time, the track number. And like I said, if there are trains coming in into this track, more than likely you will see something appearing on those two screens so let's move on and you're going to see how clean well done this portion of the platform looks even though practically the whole thing looks well done but this is from what i would say right now a good place to take a picture i would say showing this part it would definitely look really nice for a picture uh the one thing to note is the really wide island platform that you see here once again the fundamentals of an island platform is to unite two tracks what you see in the middle these are columns and not just that they actually also are equipped with fire alarms that you see there so let's continue and let's walk towards this direction and you're going to see in fact in all three columns they are equipped with an emergency system which in this case it will be the fire alarm God forbid something happens, you will see that trigger. And you're going to hear a significant amount of noise at the station. So one thing to note is this. So this is how the rail looks, or the track, depending how you want to look at it. And that is the third rail. So look at that. Quite modern, don't you think? Yep. Okay, here you have, once again, signage. We won't go over that because we went over it way too much times. Now, in terms of accessing the elevator via platform, you will see it right over here. Now, first of all, if you want to access whatever is on top, it is ideal to press this button, and it actually is the only button. The reason is there is no underground from here. This is it. This is practically it. And there it gives you a handful of information to what to expect once you go up. So let's go on this side. Let's go on the left-hand side. Here you're going to see uh, the warning gap looks intact. It looks really good. Over here is the access room. That's nothing really that much to care about, but that's one of the aspects of the station. One of the features, I would say. Here are other modes of exiting or entering the platform. Once again, the combination is there. Now, interesting enough, in this section that we are right now, this is now considered Area B. So look at that. Area B, and here you have another helpful informational signs so if we continue walking in this direction it'll be front of the train and then as we walk on the opposite direction there you did see that the elevator is present so let's walk and let's continue uh, showing you tracks 301 and 302 this is uh, the platform once again and you're going to see that it is uh, the same design the only difference i would say is so was there three three columns on that side, or was it four like what you see here? I want to say it's uh, three so far. Three so far. So the only difference here is that you have four, four columns instead. So let's check them out. Here's the first one. There's the second one. That one is the third. And then as we lead right here, that is uh, the fourth one. Now, from what I assume, let's not speculate, but you think this is... The freight elevator, or is this the passenger one? Oh, really? All right. So we will get to see that in a bit, which one it is. But as we turn around, look at that. What a beautiful sight that is. And now, as we continue walking down, you're going to notice that the areas will change. So the first two are A and B, and now this one is actually letter C. So where we're standing right now, that is actually considered to be area c this is an interesting elevator the reason why i'm saying that is this look in fire emergency do not use elevator use uh the exit stairs so i think i was wrong huh i was wrong i believe yeah because i think the next one might be also oh, the freight might be the last one all right so more than likely this one i think is more than likely for the paramedics maybe because of the sign that you see there or you never know it might be also for passengers as well so let's walk on this side. I don't think we got to show this portion of the station. 
Here you have some information where it says fire bulbs. And in fact, over here you have a fire extinguisher. Uh, the one thing that we didn't really look at is uh, the ceiling here. Here you're going to see this is the support. Those columns, more than likely, that has to be made of concrete. Yeah. Here you have uh, the lights. And actually over here, this is the speaker. It actually, in fact, is a JBL speaker. Oh, really? right? There you got uh, the fire alarm. And here you have the security camera. So here, this is area C. Once again, this is the other set of the escalator and a staircase. So the thing to note is now we are finalizing this portion of the platform because we have one more set to go. And you actually were right because, look, as we head down, you're going to see just three columns here. Look, oh, three yeah. columns. So you see that. And this, I believe, has to be the freight elevator. So like I said, a very wide platform, very wide platform. The warning gaps are noticeable on both sides. This is what you're going to see on the side. At this point, I will consider that to be the walls. Really good. Looks really nice. And I believe this has to be what? Tile? Uh, this has to be some sort of tile, yeah, right? Tile. Exactly. So here we are now in area D. Track 301 area D. And obviously, on the other side, it will be track 302, area D. So this, in fact, here is where you have the freight elevator. This more than likely will be for equipment or for anything that has to do with the LIRR. More than likely, they would have to use this in terms of the capacity. Because if you're talking about transporting heavy equipment, then I'll tell you right now, this is the elevator to use. And here you see something different there you have emergency first aid room and then this over here it says access room look at that so what do you think that is I that's think, an access point you yeah, think yeah this is an access point here all right so look at that spot on not only is the ambassador really knowledgeable about railroads and stuff but he is the master of it so he was able to spot that in that portion of the station and once again if you zoom in there you can see the box right where you have my finger pointing at that once again is an access point what is an access point it, 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 to, to say it in english at this point it is a box that will practically provide you internet to this portion of the station i know that's the easiest way to, to explain it but i'm pretty sure there's an even better way to explain it and uh, this is it this is it because uh this is the final portion of the platform here once again this is area d and this is uh your last combination of your staircase and no actually no yeah this is your last combination for staircase and escalator the reason why i'm saying that is as you walk down here this is your last staircase of the platform there you can see it so you know what let's just might as well walk down there and actually in fact here we have some interesting signage and that is this look here is the marker for 10 car trains and of course eventually going down that is the marker for 12 car trains so this is how we will wrap it up there you could see that is the last staircase there it says area of refuge who knows what that is but we'll just leave it at that so here's the thing guys we're going to end it here and we will wrap it up why you're wondering because it's practically the same thing if we're going to go down and show that other track, it's literally going to be the same thing. So with that in mind, that does it for uh, the tour here at Grand Central Madison. Up next will be the finale segment. This video was the one and only special Grand Central Madison station tour. And here's where, in fact, we will end and back of this nice and impressive artwork that you see there. So <laughs> let's turn around and let's show this side. So what are my thoughts of Grand Central Madison? It was beautiful. I am truly impressed. The fact that there is four escalator sections, so that means accessibility is definitely fulfilled. In the mezzanine where we're standing at right now, I kept mentioning and mentioning that you have a lot of staircase and escal escalator combos. You had actually a lot of them. I think, what was it, four? Uh, yeah. in total so we have four of those combinations so that should also tell you that 
accessibility is fulfilled in the mezzanine and not just that the fact that you also have elevators too in the mezzanine that's also very important and not just that in the concourse it's the same too and you guys did see that in the concourse i was a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of people that were around it was practically the first time that we did a station tour where you saw so much people looking at you wondering oh my gosh what are those people doing with the microphone we did show a lot of key aspects of the concourse we made sure to do that so that we could provide at least the important aspects of the concourse eventually when we led to the platform you didn't notice that it was very peaceful very quiet if i had to give a rating to the station it will be a perfect 10 out of 10 which will be a hundred percent so now let's give it to ralph 9. overall i must say for grand central madison uh this is history in the making right here in engineering marvel um, I am overall uh, excited about this station as it's our first time visiting and it just opened. Uh, I gotta say, uh, as we did the tour for the station, um, I would, like Kevin said, give it a 100% rating because practically everything is spot on marvelous. Um, it's really clean. Even though the design is a bit redundant in some cases, um, I gotta say, give, it, give a hand to the engineers. Uh, they did quite a fascinating job here. Uh, with the amenities and the features that's offered here in the station um it has a lot to offer um you have lots of platforms uh you have uh lots of accessibility stairs escalators uh shops soon to open uh everything is just well done uh so overall i do really like uh this addition and one of the things that i must say uh, in terms of transportation for everyone is that it makes everything much easier uh, commuters for Metro North and Long Island Railroad can make easier connections. Uh, so this, in my opinion, gets 100%. All right, so that was your remarks once again coming from our channel ambassador of the Metro North, Mr. Ralph Harry 9. I'm going to end it here where you see a beautiful portion of GCM. And so with that in mind, that will wrap it up, guys. This does it. So it's really interesting. Two years ago, or I don't know if it was last year, we did Moynihan Train Hall. The only thing is I didn't do a station tour of that because of the fact that Moynihan Train Hall tends to be more within the Amtrak territory. So I, so I assumed that since that was the case, security was going to be tight. And so I said, you know what? I didn't record. But that was in January of either last year or two years ago. And you notice that this is also in January too. So it looks like for the MTA, specifically January, it tends to be a special month because also, in fact, that was when 2nd Avenue was open too. So with that in mind, guys, that does it with this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And so with that, that does it.